That'd be great. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the No. We're here today because we got a special treat for you today. You guys thought you were getting an episode of the Hot Toys Lounge? You are solely mistaken. We are back, people. I'm going back hard on Funko, and we are here for an episode, a live episode of the Funko, Funko Casino. You can watch Seth lose his ass as he wastes his money Absolutely. on Funko Mystery Boxes at the Casino, Funko Casino. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's going on, everybody? George is joining me because George wants to watch me lose live, which is fine. I get that. So, again, if you guys all thought you were... Uh, see, it, I, it's, not, it's not even fair anymore. It's not even fair. You already got people in the chat going, oh, uh, <laughs> LOL, April Fool's, it's a joke. Oh, you know. All right, yeah, come on, guys. You know I burn... You know you know I will never purchase another Funko Pop ever again. And if any of you believe that, shame on you. <laughs> so what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. It is me, your one six scale supreme leader, your sole proprietor of this establishment, Seth. And joining me, as always, is the one, the only, the most marvelous of knights, the marvelous knight himself, the Medina Lorian, Tony Stank, um, El Wapo. El um, Wapo. Jorjito, <laughs> um, 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 Jorjito. See, I'm learning how to roll my R's. Oh. Jorjito. Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> What's up, George? <laughs> what is up? What's up, people? How y'all doing tonight? I like to call them brothers. Thanks, brothers. Frankie. <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. So what's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining us on this magical occasion. George actually has something super epic to open up for you guys. Um, I actually want to do. <clears throat> I actually want to do something a little bit different tonight on my end as far as what I'm going to open up. But we'll get into that in a second. Let's roll down the roll call and let's see who's in the chat. So right now we got about 35 people watching, guys. As you're coming in, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that bell so you get notified. Also, don't forget to check out all the excellent content we offer here at MCE because we put out kick-ass content. Kick yeah! Ass. I'm fucking enthused about that. Come watch our kick-ass content. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, guys, also, don't forget, as soon as this live stream ends, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go watch George's uh, review of the heavy Mandalorian oh, hot yeah. toy he dropped today. That thing is nothing, nothing short of miraculous. That's yeah, how I, like I feel that. about it. That's how I feel about it. <clears throat> On the whole. On the whole. So, all right, we've got... Let's see who's in chat. We got... Frankie's here saying, have a good show, guys. Thank you, Frankie. We got my man Primetime Reviews. We got, huh-huh. That's what it says. Huh-huh. Huh-huh is his name. Huh-huh. <laughs> so we got Jeremy Schutz. We got my man Ronaldo. We got Ish. We got Elijah P. We got Old Nasty. We got, what the fuck? It's Juan. We I got love that Thor. Name. Yeah, I love that name, too. We got Thor 2941. We got, we got Dre Ron. We got Right Guy 75. We got Prison Mike. I like Prison Mike. <laughs> we got the greatest name on YouTube alive. King, King Ding -a -ling. <clears throat> We got the Collectible Warrior. What's up, guys? We got Steven. We got my man Figure Kong. We got Big Dog Pound One. We got Cordell Frank. We got Rob Swallow, Nathan's Gaming. We got Jesus. We got All Might. We got man. Jay Garcia. What's going on? We got DC10. I'm abbreviating it. What's going on? We got the man from Room V. We got G. Lopez, we got Jay Stone, we got Those Kids Act Dumb, we got 2445 Jim, we got my man G-Force. What's going on, guys? What is happening? So again, <clears throat> oh, and we got my man, where is that? We got Kareem the Dream. Kareem the Dream. Kareem the Dream. I have a dream, and it's to hang out with Kareem. <laughs> 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 so, all right, guys. So, George has for you guys today, as you can see on his screen, and we will give George a moment. Of going bigness. First. No, no, no. I'm we've big got, on the show. Yeah. So we've got the two pack of Darth Vader and Grand Marf Tarkin. Moff. I call it Marf. I don't it's know why Marf. I just said Moff. Moff. 
Moff, Marf. I say potato, you say potato. <laughs> so, and as far as I go this evening, um, I wanted to do something a little different. Um, I don't want to unbox a hot toy, but what I will be unboxing is one of those awesome, awesome Mondo Masters of the Universe figures that I've been going ham on lately the past couple of weeks. So for tonight, I'm going to be opening up the one and only Skeletor. <laughs> so we're going to yep. open up Skeletor. We're going to have some fun. That's um, awesome. Because on Monday, what? I'm going to be unboxing... Um, oh, uh, Modak. Oh, Modak. Modak. Oh, Modak. Oh, Modak. I don't know why I said His Modak. His name is not Modak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, dude, I'm so fucking lost with this Hordak. Shit. <laughs> um, Cellcom, unfortunately... Um, Rocco and I are not meeting up. Rocco was actually in town earlier this week and went home early. Um, so, uh, me and him are not able to meet up, but, um, hopefully I'm planning on making a trip to New York in the summer and me and Rocco can meet up then, or he might be back down sooner than that, but we will be linking up at some point in the, in the future. And, you know, we're, we're sorry that we couldn't, you know, link up, unfortunately, you know, like lives get in the way and things happen, you know, so unfortunately that's not happened. Best is Vader in the Tarkin 2-pack. Um, okay. I can't wait to get it open. I haven't opened <clears throat> it up yet. Or as Seth would call him, Hordick. Dick. Whore dick. That's what Frankie <laughs> said. Uh, old Nasty's like, fuck yeah, Skeletor! Fuck it, fuck yeah! Oh gosh, you're going to open a figure of Nancy Pelosi? Fuck me. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> We don't talk politics, boy trans, so please I, I get the reference. I think it's funny, but we we don't we don't try to do that here. We don't hawk politics on this channel. We strictly stick to collecting. The col let's see, we got Danny Lee, oof oofs here. Uh, anybody else? We got Captain Eagle Eyes, what's going on? We got my man Right Guy 75. Oh, we got Craig Craig's here. Craig. Half fast reviews. If you're not doing it half fast, you're not doing it right. Gotta thank Craig for this one. Craig <clears throat> made this possible. I yes. love you, Craig. So everybody you. that is in the chat right now, you need to put hashtag Craig is Muff Tarkin. Craig isn't Muff. He, he's he's Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, he's an old, but but Marf Tarkin's old. So because he's old. Craig is old. Well, Craig's the wise wizard. He's old. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Man, I call it. So <laughs> I call it as I see. It. I, I guess so. so. <laughs> Hellfire Death. What's going on? Ha ha, we got, we got, huh huh, he's back, uh huh, huh, we got H Green 1313, uh huh, we got Matthew Viscayano. Or it could be, uh -huh. I was taxed almost 10K this year. Damn, that's brutal. That is brutal. <laughs> Hashtag Craig is a goat. There you go. Frank, <laughs> Frankie's got it. All right, guys, so, uh, George, let the. You go first? You um, go first? Let the. Uh, hey, oh, if you guys found. Yeah, yeah, we'll unbox together. Hey, have you guys found any NECA TMT in the Palm Beach area? All oh, might. Unfortunately, I have not. Most of the stores are all dried up. <laughs> Craig is mu Muff. Muff Tarkin. Muff. <laughs> muff. He's got Muff. Muff. Muff Tarkin. Yeah, this is so, I definitely really like the, um, the artwork. Yeah. On these boxes. Oh, on yours? Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, like you guys like if, here, let me just make myself large. Large that cross and in charge. Reminds me of that uh that 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 haunted mansion you're at a little bit. Knock it off. <laughs> so here's the art on the box. You can see that really cool picture of uh Skeletor, which is really cool. And then also on the back you can see um just a regular purple image on there we've got the masters of the universe logo on there and then this actually um i believe oh no this one doesn't open up like that oh yeah it does about the sales like come on man where's the where's the cover for that thing so here's that and you can open this up and you got more um artwork in there it gives a little story about skeletor and then there is skeletor it's pretty dope it is dope i can't wait to open this up Good. And then let's go big on George. I'm going big on me. I'm going big again. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do the whole boxing run. You got that on the front. <laughs> you got that on the front. Vader, moth. All right. You get this nice sleeve. Again. I'm a letter moth. Vader. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm a letter moth. I'm so lost with that. You get some instructions. Damn, this thing comes with a cape, too? Yo, this thing comes with a lot. 
Like a lot, a lot. What could it possibly come with? It looks like it comes with uh, one of the probe, the the uh, interrogation droids. I think is what they're called. Or oh, that's cool. <laughs> I thought you were about to say probe droids. I was like, whoa, hey, buddy. Well, it is kind of a probe. And they do stick you with a needle. <laughs> <laughs> some some would say it does butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it hits you with that COVID uh, injection. <clears throat> Right. Craig goes, I'm not that old Seth, you turd. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> you, know, you get a whole bunch of hands for Vader, and you get some old hands for Moth. Oh, we got my man in the chat, the OGest of geeks. Mike. What's up, Mikey? Holy shit, that looks good. <laughs> hey, you want to you you wanna show, show the people? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay, I don't have that, that auto zoom, so... Get a better camera. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you want. Look Whatever at that face, man. That's a face only a mother can love. Wow. You know, I should have bought my extra light. Hold on a second. Let me get my other light. Put that right there. Never, pre <clears throat> never prepared. <clears throat> Dude, this thing comes with like some really freaking badass accessories. I'm Skeletor. <laughs> Look at that freaking face, man. Oh, that got... is Grand Moff Tarkin. Damn, that thing looks good. This is a handsome G old G man. Force for my fa for my vaccine, bro. <laughs> Thank you, G Force, as always. The suit looks pretty good. So big thanks to Craig for this. He not only gave me this, man, but he also gave me the uh, diorama that this goes in. So I can't wait to show you guys that when once I get it all set up in there. But wow, this thing yeah. is cool. That is dope this is really nice, man. <laughs> Crazy, man. It's like so lifelike. <laughs> it's just saying he was wondering who farted. Somebody farted. Uh, you get. Um, Get this droid. Okay, oh, let's let's go big back on George. That's pretty cool. Looks like a Christmas ornament. <laughs> Plays Christmas music for you. Fa la 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 la. And then you get Lord Vader. This Arise, is cool. Lord Vader. I just Vader. I just got Kenobi from A New Hope. Wow. See, this is some good quality cape right here, man. All right. That Iron Studio statue that I unboxed, that shit had like napkins on his on his cape. This feels heavy. It's awesome. Look at that Vader. That is dope. Yeah, you know, I didn't even realize that the that the helmet on a New Hope had more of like a matte finish to it. At least in here it does, compared to like the uh, Return of the Jedi helmet. It's more glossy. <laughs> this is so damn good, man. Craig, I love you, bro. If you were here, man, I'd give you a big hug and a kiss, man. <laughs> this is awesome. Craig's like, I'll give you sloppy. <laughs> Craig's like, don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm Skeletor. Freaking dope. All right, man, go ahead. Show off your Skeletor. All right. This is Let's cool. See. Let's go big on me. And we're big on me. Yeah. All right, so let's do a quick zoomy zoom. All I want to do is zoom, zoom, zoom in your boom, boom. So we got actually a bunch of accessories with this. We got about two swords, an axe, his staff, um, a sheath for one of the swords. Um, I guess his little pet that's in the cartoon. I don't remember his name. And we have an alternate portrait from the cartoon. So the weapons are like super cool. So they actually got like a lot of battle damage on it, a lot of weathering. This axe... Is actually really dope. They're saying that the, the batteries on the Vader are actually inside the body on this one. Oh, okay. That's that's not good. I have to figure out how to get to that. Yeah, and then we've got the another sword with a, made out of like bones, and it's got like a bunch of battle damage. There's like a bunch of chips on it, so you can see it looks like the sword's been through some, you know, wear and tear. You're talking about my that, camera. All I can see is your beard. Yeah. <laughs> How much is that set? Uh, Frankie, um, 
I paid a little bit more for this because this is a little on the older side. Uh, retail, this normally went for like a hundred and I think it was like 150, 160. I had to pay a little more for it. Um, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that tomorrow when we talk. Um, just because it's an older one, and I kind of had to overpay for the He-Man too, a little bit. So, and then we got the sword with the uh, with the ram with the ram's head on it, which is really cool. So again, these so the, the detail on these swords are actually really cool. And for being another company other than Hot Toys and Three Zero, these Mondo figures are really really awesome. Yo, the Mondo figures are pretty. I like the turtles. So, and then Seth, hit us with your best Skeletor laugh. <laughs> uh, what is it? Ray, uh, Frankie saying the battery compartment though is though in the butt. The battery compartment on Vader's in the butt. That's what he's saying. Oh boy. He's saying what? So I what guess I am in the butt. Problem. What? What in the butt? You want to do it in the butt? In the butt? Okay. Here is the um, the sheath that the sword goes into. Let's see. I think it's this one that goes in there. <clears throat> yeah, that thing fits in there really nice, and I think it like just clips onto like the back of his cape, which is really cool. Then here is his pet. I don't remember the pet's name. George, do you remember the pet's name? Nope. That's his pet? Yeah, that was his pet in the cartoon. Wow, that really doesn't fit him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't even realize he had a pet. Yeah. I thought he always just had the the uh, the, the purple panther that, you know. I wish there him. was a pan. I wish there was a panther that goes with this. That would be awesome. Oh, you the grandma talking but, Yeah, this is pretty cool. And then here is the um, the alternate portrait. This alternate portrait is based more off of the cartoon than anything, so it's a little different than the one that's actually on the figure. But it's you know it's pretty cool. You know, again, if you guys like the vintage, you know, the vintage stuff, this is definitely the head sculpt that you're going to want to put on there. If not, you're going to want to keep the one that's on there. Um, it does come with the uh, the crotch um, grabber base. There's really nothing special to it. There's no name on it. Or anything, so yeah, they didn't really go all out on the base, kind of like Hot Toys does. Um, so that's part of the accessories that come with this, and then that goes to the actual figure itself. Um, there's a few swap out hands, but the one thing that is like the coolest thing on this whole thing is this freaking staff. Look that at is the cool. Look, yeah, I like the staff. The staff, dude. There's so much detail on this staff, and the Rams, the Rams head skull on that. That is so cool. And this has got some freaking serious weight, dude. You could beat somebody with this fucking thing. Oh, that is really neat. Hi, everybody. I'm a Ram. 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 <laughs> oh, that's cool. And then obviously, like I said, guys, you got the. Uh, you know the swap out the swap out hands there's you know obviously the hand like this he's like oh get you he man <laughs> got a cloak got close fists uh here let's uh let's go back on george let's see what george is up to in george and i'm like got a mess going on over here i'm trying to hey everybody it's george I'm trying to get all this stuff together here oh ba -da -ba -ba -ba, i'm not even in focus ba -ba -ba, it's george yeah there you go Right. This has got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, I will show you good detail on the staff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a butt say? ring. It's what is it? Frankie's saying it's a butter ring ram. A okay. butter ring ram? What? Frankie. You got to sheath your sword. You have to sheath your sword, dude. You got to protect it. You know? You don't want to you don't want to break the tip. Lord Vader. Is that wow, Chestnut's is great, cool. great great grandpa, Grandpa the Ram? <laughs> this is really uh, poor Chestnut. Does the chest and everything light up on this thing? Oh, I don't know if they're if that one lights up. I mean I would hope so. Yeah, I would think so, right? I gotta read the instructions. It's like I that just was an play with it. That was an extreme close up on George. <laughs> Seth, make me big screen. Extreme close up! 
So how is everybody's day going today? I hope everybody's having fun in the chat. I hope everybody had an awesome April Fool's today. Um, I saw a lot of um, jokes going around by a lot of the companies. Um, I saw Hot Toys put out a teaser of a, of a Justice League cyborg. Sideshow teased it. Uh... <laughs> That they were doing yeah, the Riddler, a, uh, the, the, the Riddler, Riddler premium format, and then uh, what was the other thing that they teased? Um, what is that? I saw the Riddler, and there was something else that they teased. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. G Force is saying he ran into Chestnut yesterday. That's Maybe. awesome. Laughing my ass off. I love breaking that tip off in her in parentheses. Oh. <laughs> the belt deals to the belt deals too. I don't remember about the chest plate. That's Craig. <laughs> Craig is saying the belt does, but he doesn't remember about the chest plate. Okay. Um, yo, George, your heavy Mando review was dope. That was King Benny. Thanks, <clears throat> man. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Juan is saying, <clears throat> I picked up my third Detoff shelf and Cyclones from the Transformers Kingdom at Target. Sweet Juan. Jeremy shoots. Damn Yankees cost me $300 today. Could have had a hot toy for that. Dude, don't even get me started on that Yankee game, dude. That was just, oh, God. They're they're already they're already back up to their old shitty losing ways. You got Ju you got Aaron Judge looking like a Rod where he's just flailing at pitch pitches outside of the strike zone, you know. What's up, KK? Oof oof! You left Chestnut, Seth. Now Chestnut will be turned into a cyber man horse. He waited for you. <laughs> Damn, that is a solid cape, bro. What does it feel like? It's nice, man. It feels like. Like real quality. Like I haven't seen one like this even on the premium format. It's got um, it seems like it's got an inner liner to it. I Maybe mean, you could see that, that barely any light passes through it. The the Iron Studios one. I mean, you could really like I'd see right through the cape. That, that's that's one of the things I didn't care for about that. You know, when people were selling that thing for sixteen hundred dollars, I was like, Jesus Christ. You know, <clears throat> this is great. Craig, Craig is saying George has his laid back late night smooth DJ voice going tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking. You are Sorry. listening. You are, you are listening to the smooth sounds of George Medina on 105 Hot Nine. The love, <laughs> easy dick. <laughs> we got oof oof. Lol. You see that Neca bullshit? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, Neca put the Neca did a joke where they put the uh, the four pack of um, the turtles in disguise up, and they were only selling it on eBay for like triple the price. Huh? As an April Fool, it was an April Fool's joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, my, 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 we, get, we have a rare sighting. My older brother is in the chat. Oh, What's up, Maddie? Good. What's up, dude? Crime Time Reviews is saying DJ Easy Dick. <laughs> Hello, I buy 3-0 Jetfire today. Awesome, Eric. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that Jetfire looks pretty, that Jetfire did look pretty cool. Back-to-back -back Vaders. Damn right, Outhouse Rat. Yeah, that's right. You did Empire last week. I'm doing... Yeah, we did the 40th anniversary of Empire. Now and we got then, you're doing a new hope with the Tarkin. The Muff. Muff Tarkin. I'll be your Muff Tarkin. These hands are hard to get in. We got Jedi Sigil. What's going on, dude? <laughs> oof, oof, that free shipping, though. Yeah, that's right. My brother, I'm in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, are you going to recap WrestleMania? Uh, Cellcom, I've been thinking about it. Um... I might do something. Me and Captain Powerlift have been talking about maybe bringing back the wrestling, uh, the the wrestling thing to some extent. I'm not a hundred. I'm not a hundred percent sure. We're trying to work out the the kinks and the details of it, but but yeah, we it, it, it might come back. <clears throat> the collectible warrior. I need a extreme close up of that Vader, son. Oh sure, no problem. Uh, let's see. Let's let's get George on the extreme close up. Extreme close up. Yes. I wonder how that I wonder how that how that varies from the one that I have. Um, well, for starters, the helmet is got a matte to it. It's not uh, glossy. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, G Force is asking any insight on the uh, the Hot Toys Ahsoka release. The hot? No, I don't know when that's coming out yet. Everybody, like everybody, yeah, everybody's probably wondering wondering the same thing if it was the one that got lost in the ship in the in the sea. No, I don't think so. I don't. I, I feel that I think that doesn't even come out until like middle of the year. I think, or yeah. even the latter part of the year. George's len George are the lenses red on his eyes? No. Or, yeah, no, they're black. Um, 
Eric is saying, the, Seth, um, Seth, give us a room tour. I will got, give you guys a room tour. It's got the two-tone paint on the on the face. That's so. cool. Yeah, the suit looks a little. The suit looks a little different. It's nice, man. This is this is a really nice figure. The um, hey, the the um, the little black boxes on the on the side of the on the side of the belt. Mm -hmm. Are they are they on there or do they clip on and clip off? Mm, they they look like they clip on to the to the uh, belt. Okay, yeah, because they clip on they clip on to the fortieth anniversary one because that's where yeah. the battery that's where the batteries go. Right, they do the same thing on the Return of the Jedi. Okay. My brother's leaving. My my brother's leaving the lounge. Thank you for stopping by the lounge. It was a it was a rare it was a rare it was a rare Bayer sighting. <laughs> the difference is the cloak over the shoulder, holders for the a new hope armor. Or I don't know. Yeah, I gotta I gotta see them both side by side to really tell you all the differences. All I know is I, I have the Return of the Jedi the four, the quarter scale, and just looking at the differences here. The uh, the belt's a little different. On the Return of the Jedi, looks like the side the side boxes on the belt are, are a little different as well. The helmet is glossier on the Return of the Jedi as well. Ronaldo, don't do that, don't do that at all. What happened? No, nah, Ronaldo goes the, is <clears throat> to go into my brother. Tell us a Seth story. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. Do, do not, not do that. Go in there. That that is asking for trouble. George, do you think a white custom Darth Vader would look lame? I don't want a white custom Darth Vader. Why, why would you yeah, want Darth a white Vader? Yeah, Darth Vader can't be. Yeah, Darth Vader can't be white. <laughs> it was, this sounds racist. <laughs> it's not racist. <laughs> why you got me on Craig, the big screen for? Craig, Craig, is, Craig is saying your bro, your bro just had to use the lounge restroom and leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh. Do you think the Hot Toys Captain America is swimming in the Suez Canal? <laughs> that could be. Probably know, King Dingling. Probably. I know, I know the um, one of the pieces that were affected was the Hot Toys. Uh, um, what, the Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn, right? Yeah. yeah. Harley Quinn was affected. By it. All right. So let's take out Skeletor. The I, am heavy. Skele I am Skeletor. Yeah. Serious question, how do you guys get away with buying expensive collectibles? But I was crucified from the wife for buying the neck of King Kong. Please show me the way. <laughs> Check them out. I got this from Craig. It's simple. You just hide it. You just hide all your purchases Seth, you see the it? best that you can. Uh, One million dollars. <laughs> or like is he playing... Sniffing he, his finger. Yeah, or I was about <laughs> to say, is he playing a game of uh, toe or finger? <laughs> <laughs> so here I'll let me go up on the big screen so I can show <clears throat> Skeletor so here is Skeletor which is really really cool oh, nice. um, the knees the knees are just single single jointed there's no double joint to the knees um, there's good uh, articulation with the arm and the elbows the elbows are single jointed as well um, the head does some really good pivoting the jaw on the Skeletor actually opens and closes, which is really cool. Um, the the torso gets... Oh, I think I just broke it. No, you didn't. Oh, Did you? Uh, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, damn, that sucks. Oh, yeah. Does it go back in? Yep, we're good. Okay. We're back. So, the, the torso, the upper torso gets really good uh, articulation, which is really good. Um, I can't speak so much for the bottom part of the torso because right. that almost came off. But let me do a, a quick zoom in. Yeah. You guys can see there is the portrait that comes with the figure. He's, the detail on the muscles and everything, the shading and the paint and everything is really, really cool. So and the jaw opens up. I got you, He Man. <laughs> <laughs> this thing even comes with a chair, man. It's cool. So, yeah, this thing, this, this thing is freaking, this thing is freaking badass. That's so, badass. I, I actually picked this up from uh, Bits and Buttons. Um, they gave me a really good, a really good deal on it um, because I've seen it go for more 
in other places. I've seen this on eBay for like four hundred dollars right now. Serious? Shit. Yeah, serious. And the He-Man goes for a lot more. So I also caught a break when I bought the He-Man too. Believe it or not. So this is actually really cool. Again, I like the paint. I like the shading so you could see the muscles. Freaking Skeletor's got like a killer six pack, dude. Yeah, man. I love the story about the the toys that made us when they had the had the killer. Yeah, toys. that was yeah that was cool. I like that. One of my favorite episodes. Actually, you know which one I like? I like the one with about the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Ninja Turtles was a good one too. I like the my one about the Ninja, are like Turtles. the Ninja Turtles, the He Man, Star Wars, Transformers, Transformers. was good. Yeah. Transformers. Pretty much every cartoon I used to watch as a kid. So, yeah, Skeletor must work out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is really this is really cool. I like this a lot. Again, I like even the the gauntlets that he has and the crossbones piece on the on the chest with like the the gem the gem that's in there. I mean, this is just this is really cool, man. These these Mondo figures are awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to I'll have to open up all the, all the rest of them on a on a live stream. Or maybe I'll just do reviews. I don't. It depends on what they want. It depends on what the people want. Every collector in this room's butt just perked up when they saw Skeletor broke. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, Skeletor does not come uh, come with the sword of power, unfortunately. I don't think. I have the power in my ball sack. That's what I said when I purchased when I purchased He Man. Right, do extreme zoom out. <laughs> All right, and let's get George. Oh, so so the so what? It comes with a chair with a chair for um for Grandma for, Tarkin for Tarkin. Man, but one of the things that 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 kind of bites is the uh, the pegs get stuck in the hands on Vader, and yeah. they're way inside the glove. So yeah. <laughs> Craig is saying butt pucker. A catchy name for a band or something. <laughs> Description says it comes with a reversible fabric cape. What's reversible about it? A different color? Is that what, what this Frank, is? That's what Frankie's saying. Well, there's the inside of the cape right there. I don't know if you can really tell with that, but hey, I mean, it just hey, looks Pepper, like an liner. Hey, Pepper Potts is in the is in the chat. What's up, Pep? Pep, 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 Pep. Pep. Skeletor has a membership at Planet Fitness. Hmm. I'm going to Skeletor. Like some tweezers huh? to get the, the pegs out of these hands oh my god i'm losing yeah. pegs dude that was honestly the worst thing ever when i called you after last week's hot toys lounge What's and that? i was having the issue with trying to put the the light up arm in oh, invader. invader oh my god what a pain in the fucking ass that oh oh frankie's saying for skeletor yeah uh yeah you can do um you could do like a black the a black cape or you could flip it around and do it to where it's uh purple frankly purple. purple all day you do black or purple you're black you're purple yeah 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 <laughs> you need a director jedi sizzle saying you need a director krennic now i'm not a fan of that character man a lot, a lot of people like him man but that dude the hot I, toy I, looks good though the hot toy does look good i'm not saying that he doesn't look like the character i hate the actor I, there, there's a thing about me and that I just don't like that actor. Every time I see him act, I just I want to choke him. <laughs> old, old nasty saying, "Hey, Seth Mondo has been showing a prototype for Hordak and concept art for Shiro, really? which has sculpted hair." Dude, Ooh. the tweeter head Hordak is dope. As yeah, that thing man. is fire. Wait till you see me unbox that on Monday. You guys are gonna love that thing. That thing is cool. Yeah. Frankie, Frankie saying the chair, that chair was a nice touch for Tarkin. Yeah, it is. Collectible warrior, damn, who has a better cape, Seth or George? <laughs> this is a quality ass cape, man. Uh, Frankie saying George is Gideon. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yes, I would use needle nose pliers. They are a pain. That's what. Yeah, Craig man, they get they get stuck inside the hand. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna have to try to pop these out. Does Vader come with the saber or no? Yeah, he does come with the lightsaber. I'm gonna pose him like that next. I just wanted to see how this would look. That's pretty cool. And then you get the um, the uh, interrogation droid here. <laughs> Eric, Eric is saying Seth has the better one. The purple is fuck quality. <laughs> <laughs> I like the purple, man. The purple is yeah. nice. The, it's like uh, Prince. It's like Prince. It's like Prince's cape. Craig Craig modified the the base that this came in to give it a nice more a more weathered look. It looks good. You did a good yeah. job on that. 
So. Hey, my man, my man, teacher Steve is here. I'm just here to like the video. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, man. My man, my man, Steve is here. Steve, I gotta go watch my boxing of the of the uh, of the uh, the heavy Mando man. That yeah, you gotta good. watch the heavy Mando video George did today. Outhouse Radisson, George, did you get any of the five zero first hot toys? Uh, I had the five zero first. I, I got Captain Rex. I, I, did they come out with the five zero? Yes, I did. I did get the five zero first. I got actually one of each. I got the one where where it's just a normal uh, clone trooper, and then I also have them with the Ahsoka uh, helmet. So yes. Did they make a Tarkin all by himself, or he only came they in did. that two-pack? No, no, they did. They have a Tarkin oh, cause by King, itself. Cause, yeah, because King Benny is saying Tarkin is so damn expensive. Yeah, Tarkin is pricey. Even this, this set is very expensive. I am Skeletor. Yeah. Oh, will obey me. Let's check out this lightsaber. So they got the New Hope lightsaber. That's cool. It's got the bubble strip in the, uh, in the, uh, um, the power on so the switch. So we got the cape. We got the cape now on Skeletor, looking like he's coming from like one of those uh, old school like uh, pimp, pimp parties that they used to have back in the day. Though the player hate his ball. Hate 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 hate. <laughs> from that one episode of the Chappelle Show. <laughs> what the hate, fuck hate, is this? Hate. I don't even know what this is. That is dope, though. I like the cape. I, I, I wasn't sure whether I was going to pose him with the cape or not. I might I might pose him with the cape. Yeah, of course, the cape. I am Skeletor. Yeah. Lord Vader. Arise, Lord Vader. I might be taking my son to the ICCC con in Nashville for some Star Wars action in Nashville. Awesome, That's Steve. Awesome. Yeah, I know. I know Joshy's going to be there, so maybe you can go link up with Josh when he's there. That's lucky. Oh, there. oh the, the, the con in Nashville? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ed Lopez, is that James Brown's purple cape? Ow! I feel good! About to lose my last, um, last pin. Oh, no. You know, you know what I don't like hmm. is that this thing. There's, I mean, I know I bought it secondhand, but there's like no instructions. Do you even get instructions? Yeah, I might have to see if I can look online and find instructions. Yeah, I think it's, that's a bitch. Mm. All too big. Oh, it's not gonna stay there. <laughs> Okay, that pin don't work. I have the power in my butt sack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need some tweezers. You know, I was gonna try not to use the uh, the stand with this, but there's a good possibility I might need to. I'm not gonna be able to display this with the lightsaber right now. Uh oh. Frankie's saying that Mondo He-Man does not look like He-Man. Oh, Frankie. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Frankie, 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 Frankie. George is asking, uh, what is it? Frankie's asking George, did the Tarkin come, the Tarkin figure come with slippers? <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> These hot toys are insane. I love both of them. Yes, Darren. Well, George is opening up hot toys. I have the um I have a Mondo figure. Steve is saying, ha ha ha, Seth. He said he had the power in his ding ding. Ha ha. <laughs> Steve. Steve, don't make me call don't make me call dub and get you put on punishment. <laughs> make you eat those jalapeno flavored fish steaks again. Those things were pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I honestly if you guys have not watched that video, you need to go check that out. Freaking Steve. Steve embodies what a true competitor should be. Steve has the heart, the will, and the determination of a true competitor. I've never seen anybody get put through those, get put through the ringer the way like Steve did, and he still came out on top. Steve is saying those fish steaks are gross. <laughs> uh. 
Skeletor sporting a Pippin cape, but no Jordans. Yeah, I know. Huh. Ronaldo saying no instructions. Ask Junior for help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but where are the hot toys? Oh, ha, 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 ha. Frankie saying the scene when they blow up Alderaan, Peter, Peter Cushing wore slippers because the boots on his feet hurt. The boots on his feet hurt? No shit, I didn't know that. Boot, the boots hurt on his feet. Sorry, I need to learn how to read. Oh, man, this is, I need to learn how to read. Just as much of a bitch as it was with Luke. What's that, getting the lightsaber in? Yeah, because I can't get... Well, normally I wouldn't even bother putting this hand that has the, uh, <clears throat> that has the lightsaber on. Yeah. Probably shouldn't even pulled out the other one, but um, that's what she said. Well, the last pin doesn't fit in the hole right, man. It, it's like it's um, it's just loose. George has the look of the Steve guy has issues as he works hard on that hot toy. <laughs> Bro, man, this is <laughs> this is a uh, mission right here. <laughs> is the tool is the tool too big for his hand? McButter Golem, how are the joints on the Skeletor? They're not bad. Um, they're they're a little they're a little tight because maybe the person that had it before me didn't kind of work the joints a little bit. Um, I'll have to see what I can do to maybe loosen them up a little bit so I can get some you know so I can at least get Skeletor in like a really good pose that I want to put him in. Um. You know, I'm, I really want to pose him with the uh, with the sta with the staff, with the ram staff, because this this thing is freaking awesome. I mean, I already put the sh the sheath on the back, the sword swords in there. You know, I'll get you, he man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do this. Not right now, anyway. Don't say that, George. Never give up. Never surrender. Yeah, for the batteries? Yeah, that's for the batteries. Okay, cool. Almost thought I broke the glove. Uh-oh. No, I didn't. Thought I did. Craig, Craig will be like, what the hell, man? Yeah. <laughs> so he leaves my sight for two minutes and you already destroyed it. Craig, I know Craig probably had a bitch if he tried to put this in. <laughs> if he even tried. Yeah. Probably should have just waited and got the tweezers and, and did that, because now I'm going to have the fight put the other hand back in. They should have made it where where the, uh, where the connection, like, like where, the, where at least you can unzip the uh, the outfit, you know, so that you can get to, to the spot. This is like a really, really tight spot. Oh, that is fire. Oh, we got a five dollar nice. super Thanks, chat King from Benny. King Benny. Road to fifty K. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, King guys. Benny. Yes, we are on the road, guys. Also, don't forget, we are doing a giveaway. Oh, um got it. When when we hit when we hit thirty thousand subscribers, we will be giving away a quarter scale hot toy of the Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. And we will also be giving away some other items as well. And, uh, yeah, so George will, well, actually, we'll be working on putting out a uh, 30,000 giveaway uh, announcement video uh, within yeah. the next week or two. So you guys can, uh, you know, figure out what you guys got to do to for your chances to enter and all that stuff. But, again, guys, we're trying to get to 30K. Me, personally, I want to hit 50K. I want to surpass it, you know. I'm a man on a mission right now. I'm motivated. I'm determined. You know, and I know George is with me on this because we just want to keep banging out the killer content that we've been putting out for you guys. That's not the only thing that's super tight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You can do it, George. Make that hot toy your bitch. I got it. I got it. Shit, I already won. Hole. Nice. Uh, mm -hmm. I hate it when it's loose in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> That figure is so dope, Seth. I th I really thought you broke it, and we're about to see a Target Seth again. McButter Golem, Target Seth died, man. I I I can't I can't go into store. Well, first of all, I only hated going into those stores because of what it was like to collect pops. I nearly do not have half of those issues now since I switched over to figures. So you know, I'll just keep hitting targets up until I find it. I mean, that's how I feel about it. 
I don't bother, guys. Chance. Just take my address down. It's coming to me. Did you guys score a Boba Fett from Target today? Uh, Odile, no, it did not hit our area yet. I didn't even go look. Yeah. I, I'm not like Seth. I hate Target. I hate going to shopping at Target. I don't like... George don't just like hates George just, George just hates going to the Target by his house. No, no I, I don't like going to the Targets, period. I mean, I, I give it up to you, dude. You run around and you find what you're looking for. Half the time when I'm running around, I don't find it. I get irritated with all the driving around and the spending on the gas and all that stuff. I just... That ain't fun for me, man. You know? So I like when I find what I'm looking for, but most of the time, all the, the, the leading up to it, it wears me out. Getting too old for that shit, man. <laughs> okay there, Danny Glover. Hey, man. That's how, that's how I feel. I, I prefer just to, you know, place my order for my item, have it show up at my door. Like, I got that, that Boba Fett coming already from Big Bad Toy Store. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, hey, we got King Benny dropping another five spot. Um, I don't always watch YouTube videos, but when I do, it's MCE. <laughs> King Benny is the most interesting man on YouTube. What the fuck is one? Yo, I, I, I think what, what what Seth has over me and in, in Fort Lauderdale is that the Targets and the uh, and the WalMarts are closer together. Uh, Jerry Jerry Bue fifty seven. Thank you for the twenty spot. Here's the thirty k. Thank you, much appreciated you. for the twenty dollars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's Vader Arch with is the in, lightsaber. Arch is in the chat. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Arch? Juan is saying, but that's the best part of of it though. George is the fun of tracking that stuff down. George, it's all about the adventures at Target. Yo, but it's like you got to deal with these assholes at Target. And I don't like talking to those people, man. Yeah. Well, I don't always have to talk to them. Bro, I have not gone into a Target yet and just found... No, I'm lying. One time, I found what I was looking for walking into a Target. Once. That ain't good, man. Most of the time, I'm standing in front of there when the store opens because a lot of people are going to be going to get the item. And then... You have to deal with having them go, you know, look in the back, which they don't want to do. You know, it's just, it, it's irritating, dude. I, mm. I, I don't know how you enjoy doing that. <laughs> Those kids act dumb is just saying George just got over with that promo on Target. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. The, the spider is here. Juan is saying, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's okay. It's understandable, George. I get ag uh, Thor saying, I'm with you, George. I get aggravated, not fun hunting like before. It was cool if, if you had every like Toys R Us, right? You go to Toys R Us and there was the the, the, the shelves were stocked. You know, I miss Toys R Us. What is it? Steve, uh, Steve is saying George doesn't check out the NECA Funko section. <laughs> yeah, Steve, I guess. Steve loves that. Steve likes that in the video, and I'm like, all right, everybody, let's go check out the NECA Funko section. <laughs> the collectible warrior. Damn, George is getting salty as fuck, laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, KK, I'm with you, George. That hit me one day, and I sold my entire NECA collection. You need to you need the stars to align to get anything at those stores. Well, it's mostly those at Target, unless college girls and moms are an issue. Well, uh, I mean, like Seth collects everything, right? So, I mean, you're you always going to find something. You're going to yeah, find exactly. something if you're gonna, if you got a wide range of things you're going to buy. I'm going in there for Star Wars, and I mean, Walmart is never stocked with anything, at least in my area. And and forget Target, man. Well, that's so. not the case in Georgia. <laughs> no, I know. It's like I want to move <laughs> to Georgia. That's not the case in Georgia. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Craig is saying, Tarkin, I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. <laughs> Arch is saying, I had a dream of this. Finding a secret video of Seth and George playing with their big figure. <laughs> Thor, even if even if Toys R Us was sold out, they would tell you when they're getting the, getting more back in stock. And they did. that is very true. I miss Toys R Us, man. <laughs> Steve is saying the closed caption text of the NECA Funko section can be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check that out. I'll have to see what it says on closed captions. And we're going to go check out the fucking NECA section. <laughs> <laughs> That's even if it translates uh, the curse words. I don't know if it does. What does? Uh, YouTube. I think it... Uh, we mean like in, in subtitles? Yeah. I think it does. I don't know why there's so much hair over on this cape. Well, like, I mean, you got a beard, bro. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like my beard hair. It's like almost like fucking animal hair. Maybe the person that had it before you had a cat or something. I mean, Dom had it in that glass display case, so I mean... It's been a while since we've seen Seth's infamous Target rant. Yeah, it's been a while since I, a hot minute since I've done a Target rant. 
Yo, I love these figures, man. These things oh. are so freaking cool. <laughs> Steve is saying it translates to let's go check out the, na the naked funk fucking section. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This is sweet. <laughs> Skeletor sponsored by Dodge. That's what Craig is saying. Because of the Ram. <laughs> you know what kind of truck Skeletor drives around in Turnia? <laughs> That's right. A Dodge Ram. <laughs> you can get the Ram 1500 Coup Cab. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they will continue to make Black Series of the Old Republic? I think so. Why not? Um, Eric is asking George, hot toys or statues? Man, that's a hard one. <laughs> I think what I like about hot toys is they make a lot more of the characters than, than uh, statues. So for that matter of being able to find different types of characters, I like hot toys. But well, that there's you something can pose to be said the way about you statues. Want. And that you can, in the yeah. figures, you can pose the way you want. Well, not always. I mean, you can in, in some characters. But like, like say for like the Mandalorian right now, I mean, because of the inner suit, it's hard to do the posing. Uh, but I like that there's a large variety of characters with hot toys, which is great. You know, you can have all... I, I'm, I find myself, like, excited to see what, what comes out with the Hot Toy stuff. But the statues have a presence, man. The statues do, you know, they do look really good. I, I'm always going to love my statues. Thor Thor 2941, George's last visit in Target was him yelling, I've come here to buy Star Wars and kick ass, and you're always out of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thor, the uh, Thor Anacostia? Is it saying, what's poppin', Seth? Are you going to Awesome Con in August in D.C.? I did not know that there was an awesome con in D.C. I would like to travel and go hit up some of these other cons. Um, Eric is asking, hey, Seth, if Funko makes a Billy Eyelash, you should buy it and make a video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Two things you hate made into yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, two things leading into one. Uh, what is it? Myth Mythos Vader, Brandon is saying. Love that Vader. Uh, Boy Tran, hot toys all day because George enjoys making dirty slow motion moves with them. <laughs> dirty slow motion moves. When did I do uh, a dirty slow motion move? Ronaldo, uh, is that evil Lynn hair? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was uh, evil he was Lynn hair. Yeah, yeah he, he was he was he was pal driving evil evil Lynn before. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. Good one, Ronaldo. Seth, are you going to ever add a bust to your collection? Ooh. Spider Man, that Spider Man one does look pretty tempting. I'm not gonna and, and for the and for the price point, it does look very tempting. Yep. Um, honestly, if I were to add a bust, I think the first bust I would have to add would probably be a Captain America bust. True. Just because I Captain America is my jam, so it would have to be Captain America and then maybe uh, Iron Man and Spider Man. But I mean, so if they made a book, <clears throat> I would like if they made a bust of Hulk Hogan. I now have a Darth Vader in every scale. <laughs> that, it's ver Actually, no, that's not true. I do. That's not true. You don't have a full size. So you don't have a full size Darth Vader. I, this is a one life to one size? scale. Life size. No, I'm talking like life size, man. Not a bust. I'm talking like life size, dude. I, I'm actually thinking about building one, but still, <laughs> I, got, I got a life size Darth Vader bust, quarter scale Darth Vader Hot Toys, the one fifth scale Mythos, and the <clears> uh, and now a six scale Vader. And I got a one-third scale Vader on order. Um, what is it? Uh, Steve is saying, is Georgia doll hair or a sculpted hair guy? Sculpted hair. Or uh, Elijah P. is asking, are the movie nights going to review Godzilla vs. King Kong? Yes, I want to. Um, I don't know. I mean, do you, what do you, I mean, we have to talk to the guys. Do you think maybe we should, instead of doing Falcon and the Winter Soldier on, on uh, Saturday, we should do uh, a Godzilla, uh, Kong vs. God, Godzilla vs. Kong? Whichever one. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to talk to them and see. <laughs> Maybe we switch it up this week. The problem is, is having uh, time to do both uh, channels, yeah. like being able to put content out every day. But I liked it, man. That movie was fun. <laughs> G -Force I want to go is, see it again. G Force is saying, "I'm so glad that eyelash video did so well. It was twenty dollars well spent." <laughs> it was, man. That was pretty cool. Un I'm glad that it did that. Uh, Thunder lips in the flesh, baby. Did. Didn't Sharper Image have a life-size Vader back in the day? I think it did. But I saw this uh, this tutorial on this guy. Well, not kind of a tutorial, but a little thing that he did and gave me an idea. He bought the uh, Darth Vader um, a Darth Vader costume that uh, was that was put out a while ago. Oh, and he then, put it on a mannequin? 
yeah, he got a mannequin. He he cut the mannequin up and then you know formed it the way that he wanted to form it. And then he bought some some higher end pieces like the helmet. He went out and bought like an EFX helmet. I think is what he used, um, and a couple other uh, accessories that just made it look a little more uh, realistic. You know, versus that that costume, but the costume had a solid suit, cape, uh, and I think boots. I think is what he used from that one, and he did it all for about fifteen hundred dollars, and he was able able to put together a life size Darth Vader. Yeah, that's so cool. yeah, so I'm thinking that'll be kind of neat to be able to do that. You know what I've seen people doing, which is really freaking badass, and I might have to ask our good buddy Matt to do it, hmm. and I might actually attempt attempt to do this because. Um, I'm not a very creative person. I'm not very artistic. Um, I I'm I am a very mechanically inclined person. Um, I do like building things and putting things together. Um, I just don't have the patience for it. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing 3D printing of um, the Winter Soldier's arm, mm-hmm. which has been really cool. And I and I want to see if I maybe I can attempt to do that. Very cool. Like 3D Thanks. print. Like I want to 3D print it. Um, you know, obviously sand it bond it, you know, all that stuff, and then paint it, you know, because I've seen people on TikTok do videos of it, dude, and it just looks awesome when it's done. That'd be cool. I don't know. I've never done anything like that before, and I think it would be fun. It would be fun to document my follies. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. Appreciate you watching the, the video. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, I enjoyed the Hot Toys movie. Was on the fence about that one for a while. Glad I purchased it. Oh, you should never be on the fence about that Heavy Man, though. That thing was epic. Yeah, I like that figure a lot. Seth, have you seen affordable Hot Toys Hulks on eBay? They are pretty expensive. Yeah, the um, yeah the uh, uh, the the Hulk Hot Toys are up there, man. They they fluctuate every so often. They 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 go up and down in price. Um, you know, they're I think the the highest I've seen the Gladiator Hulk right now is sitting at like five fifty. Um, and the other Hulks are sitting around like the 450, 500 range. So Craig is saying wearable winter soldier arm, Seth. Yes. Yes, Craig. Um, Thor is saying the winter Seth. The winter <laughs> Seth. Seth. <laughs> King Benny is saying life-size bust of Robin's package. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know about banana, that. Banana, banana hammock. Banana. 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 I do want a, uh, some of those minions. That would be kind of funny. Don't they have a minion statue? Didn't we show that one time? Yeah, they do have a minion statue. Primal Studio makes it. I've you been like waiting it. to see if it'll show up on eBay for, you know. I mean, you would time. have to, yeah, I would about to say you would have to think that's something that not a lot of people would would purchase. Bro, I mean, that's what I thought about the um the How to Train Your Dragon uh statue and that thing skyrocketed. I should have bought is, four of them things. What is that um uh, What is it? Two toothless? Yeah. Yeah, Sideshow made one, and I think at the time it was like 300 and change. And Jesus. I was like, I'm not going to pay $300 for Toothless, you know? And I thought, mm. like, what you're saying right there, how many people really want this? Things sell out. people wanted it. <laughs> Fuck. Now it's like $1,400 <clears throat> for that statue. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Arch is saying, I've got a life size bust of Seth's bust from last night. Nice, Arch. Eric, you're right. I need a 112th and a 110th scale ver- version of Vader for me to mm. have. I'm, I am determined to get a Vader in every scale. Uh, Cellcom, Seth, are you getting the Carrion Cross Elite? Uh, Cellcom, if I come across it, absolutely. Um, I can tell you this. Um, I did find an awesome, awesome WWE Elite figure on my travels yesterday, which will be in tomorrow's hunt video. So you guys are definitely going to want to check that out. Um, Geoforce is saying Boca Raton is one of my faves. Uh, Teacher Steve, Seth, did you say the upgraded Spidey suit was one of your faves now? Yes, I really like the upgraded Spidey suit. That's probably, out of all the Spider-Mans that have been made, that's probably the best, that's probably the best Spider-Man. The articulation on that and the the, um, the Tom Holland portrait, also with the Edith glasses, freaking awesome. Um, Ronaldo is saying Seth 3D printing Billy Eyelash. Ugh. I don't want. I, I God. I wish. I wish the eyelash would just go away. I wish it would just go away. Dude, another difference between the Vader helmet, on the that? little the little tabs, or I don't know what to call these things at the front of the mask. Yeah. The one of them is silver and the other one's black. I never noticed that in the movie. Interesting. That's. Cool. Did um does his helmet stay on or does it come off? No, no, it stays on. Oh, it's see. all one. It's one piece. Uh, see, I wish that's what it was like on the Empire one. 
Well, the Empire one's made mm-hmm. to separate because it, it's that's the scene from the movie. Yeah, the chamber, yeah. yeah. Um, Antonio, what's your aftermarket limit for a single non-normal die-cast Hot Toys? I noticed you said you wouldn't pay the Tate's price for the 89 Batman. Just curious what your limit is. It's minus three to 380 to 400. So the only problem why I wouldn't pay the price that Tate's has on the Keaton Batman is because the cape's all jacked up. If it, if that thing was mint, if that thing was mint, and it was four fifty, I would have no problem paying that for the Keaton Batman. But the cape, they have it way overpriced for the amount of damage that um, that's on the figure. All the damage is on the cape. There's a lot of bubbles up by the neck area, by the bottom of the cowl. There's like a little small tear on the side and everything. So mm. that that's why I refuse to pay that four fifty. But if it was four fifty, mint condition. No questions that would have been purchased. Mm. Um, Anthony Tank, much appreciated, man, on the Macari recommendation, fellas. Oh, no problem, Anthony. You're welcome. We enjoy recommending people. Craig says that screen accurate. I, you know, I'm amazed when I look at these six-scale figures when you see the little details like that. You know, it, you, It's like stuff you don't pay attention to in the film. That's cool. Thor, uh, Thor is asking, make some M- MCE 3D action figures of all you guys would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be funny. Listen... We w- we actually talked about that a, a, a while ago. Getting trying to get some figures made of us, and you know, use them as like giveaways and stuff like that. So, I mean, honestly, me to have my own uh, a figure made of me would be absolutely awesome. Um, there would just have to be a lot of emphasis on the Nether region. <laughs> George. Yeah, I hate to say about that. Listen, you guys don't understand. I always try my damnedest to make George as uncomfortable as possible. So, <laughs> um, I go by Tank, and I'm loving the channel. Oh, thank you, Th- thank you, Tank. We appreciate it. Um, Seth, you keep your Hot Toys box. Yes, Fernando, I keep all my boxes. There, there's a massive pile of Hot Toy boxes in my storage unit. I almost uh, can't not- get rid of the Hot Toy boxes because of all the you accessories. Can't. Uh, Ronaldo saying I signed up for Macari and then you guys did that Macari tutorial video. Oh, cool. Gets G Force is saying get 3D scanned. <laughs> <clears throat> Thor is saying we should be a hot toy. That would be cool. I, I would. I, wanna, I would like to. I'd like to have a six scale figure of myself. I just want a portrait made of me <clears throat> so that I could put it in the Iron Man. One of my Iron Man six scales. <laughs> oh my god, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yes, the goal of every show, Rattle George. <laughs> Everybody has it for me. <laughs> Arch, Arch is saying Seth's figure would be a tripod. <laughs> uh, there's a company called U2s. They make YouTuber figures that could always make you guys. That would definitely, I would definitely buy. Oh, gotta we'll check, to check it out. U2s. Huh? Ha, uh, ha, ha? I like saying that. Ha, huh, ha? Huh? What kind of accessories would you want? Well, obviously, be, uh-huh. I, yeah, obviously, I would have to have the backwards Yankee cap. There's no question about that. Um, that's a good question, man. What kind of accessories would we want? Well, I, I need the glasses. Yeah, I need you, a would lightsaber. Need Edith, you would need the Edith glasses and the lightsaber, probably. The lightsaber, yeah. I would probably go with cap shield. Eric, I have the IG-11 on order. It just hasn't shown up yet. It's another one of those that I've been I've been waiting for. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, the head, head, the head sculpts would be the way to go. Um, Seth, or would you get a Fat Thor hot toy? Yes, I am getting the Fat Thor when it comes out. Because I, I, I can relate to Fat Thor, because obviously I'm fat. I mean, listen, we've all been through some shit in our lives that, that's traumatized us. Mm. So, <laughs> Craig is saying, I would, like to, I would like to have my wankster outfit. <laughs> there you go. Gen 6 is saying Chestnut would be an accessory. Chestnut. Yeah, like I can have ch- Chestnut standing there. Ch- yeah, that great idea. Great idea. There you go, George. Head sculpts of each of you being made that could be on any figure you want. Yeah, it'd be perfect. <laughs> Uh, did not notice the 450 price tag in the video. Batman 89 Hot Toys on Wonder on Toys Wonderland is crazy high. Didn't know how much Tate's had the one that. Oh yeah, no, no problem, man. It's uh, no problem. Yeah, it, it's it's hard. It's hard with my camera to get like really close up, especially with the glass when it's in the case because the reflection picks up and it's hard to show that stuff. Um, 
Seth's head sculpt would go on one of my caps and George would go on Tony Stank. <laughs> um, how do you feel about the new Mysterio drones hot toy? I think that's cool. I like the fact that they released the drones individually. Um, I thought Seth was a hot toy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but my art, my articulation these days is not very great. <laughs> um, Craig is saying Seth's figure would come with the butt stuff. Trademark. Nice. So, all right, guys, we are over our hour limit for this evening, and George has things to do. I have things to do. So, as always, thank you guys so much for joining us on another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. Guys, do not forget, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, my uh, new hunting video will be dropping, and then later on that evening, will we be doing the Geek Show Live with the gentleman from Figpin. So, if you guys are interested in that, come check that out. And then also, um, are you going to have your uh, your Falcon and Winter Soldier reaction up for movie nights? That's going to be up on movie nights, yes. So check that out. And, uh, and also, don't forget to check out the other videos that we offer on this channel, guys. You guys probably have not checked out all the other great content we offer and a lot of our back catalog, too. But also, make sure you check out George's Heavy Mando review if you guys haven't already. That was a great Thanks, review. George always kills it with his reviews. Um, you know, I always like kind of like I always like when I watch your reviews, man, I always feel like that um, I get that cinematic feel just because of like the 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 you know, the way your camera's set up. Oh, thanks. You know, so <laughs> I, I like that. And then of course, how can not everybody forget George's uh, tagline? Extreme close up! Close up! Close up! <laughs> Send in the clones! <laughs> I got my kids saying that shit. Yeah, that's awesome. They come up there, extreme close up. <laughs> well, Jake Jake runs around the house and goes, "Hot toys, hot toys." So yeah, I got my kids. <laughs> I got my kids saying all that shit. So, all right, guys. So again, as always, make sure as you're leaving out, you smash that thumbs up button. As always, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified. And of course, guys, as always, it's so hard to say goodbye. To all you in the chat. Wow, I blanked. I don't even have anything. But thank you for stopping and watching our shows on MCE. Yeah! <laughs> gotcha, April Fools. All right, guys. <laughs> we will see you later and have a good night. Later. Subscribe, motherfuckers. <laughs>